An open discussion on where we're at. What's up everybody, Arg the Pirate here, and today I'm going to have an open discussion of about where we're at. You know, it, this is a direct response to what Epic has posted on Reddit, on, you know, their forum page. I'll leave a couple of links in the description so y'all can check it out if you want, or if y'all want to write to them. But I kind of would like to just have a talk and really get to feel where y'all are at and where I'm coming from, everything like that. Now, I know y'all can read this yourselves, but if you're watching it at work, I think it'd be helpful just to hear someone else read it. So I'm going to briefly read this and then we'll break it down paragraph by paragraph. Now, the post reads to everyone. We know you have a lot of questions about the future of Paragon. We care deeply about this community and we know it is important to you too. Or to you. <laughs> so, here's a summary of where we are. Going from Legacy to Monolith to the new card system and all the changes in between, our efforts have been focused on growing the game. While each of these incarnations have been beloved by a core community, none have been large enough to achieve mainstream success. This combined with humbling, humbling success of Fortnite has caused us to question if we have a good path to grow Paragon and make it thrive. Work on Paragon continues. V45 ships this week with both hero and card balances as well as stability improvements. However, progress has been slower lately for two reasons. First, the team's time is split between immediate improvements and long-term efforts, so there is less visible progress. Second, a number of Paragon's team members jumped into Fortnite to help sustain the game as it grows far larger than anything in Epic's past. Here inside Epic, we're talking about the future of Paragon pretty much this, in pretty much the same terms that you're talking about it. The core challenge is that of new players who try Paragon, only a small number continue to play regularly after a month. Though Paragon has evolved, no oration has yet achieved that magical combination of ingredients that has that make for a substantial game. As an aside, the problem isn't marketing or how to make money with Paragon. We have a good I, we have good ideas that would solve those problems if we can find a way to make Paragon grow. Over the next few weeks, we will be figuring out if and how we can evolve Paragon to achieve growth and success in trying some things internally. In the meantime, Paragon's release cadence will be slower. We welcome your thoughts on what we should do. Like you, the team is deeply passionate about Paragon. Like you, we would love to find a path that works. And like the community at large, we are not all in agreement on what could place Paragon on a fundamentally better path for all. We will always be transparent with the community, and this is where we are right now. As we have more information, we will share it with you. Now guys, that's huge. That is a huge statement, and you know, from the very first section of this, you know, the, 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 this is a huge statement, and it's going against everything that they've told us for the past few months. And you know, I, I haven't really ever came out with a video saying, hey, this is what's making me mad. If y'all remember that Twin Blast video I came out right after his rework, I was, I was upset. And I was going to make a rant video because, you know, things that they've done are very, very upsetting to me. But, you know, I decided, hey, that's not what my channel is. I, I don't want to make rant videos or anything like that. But I think this is such a huge statement coming from Epic. We need to sit down and talk about it. All right, guys, I keep getting sidetracked just left and right, but I'm going to go ahead and take this point by point. Okay, the first point in that second paragraph, going from Legacy to Monolith. Now, guys, if you are to ask me what is a better map, Legacy or Monolith, I would say, you know, I, I can't really say if one is better or worse, but I honestly feel Monolith was an improvement. I think Legacy had a lot of issues that Monolith changed and made better and you know without getting into all the issues you know if you want to talk about that you know i we talk about this in discord all the time so you know you want to get into that jump into discord with me but i really think let monolith made some great improvements over legacy but why why'd y'all get rid of legacy why not have them both 
like I understand that that would take some effort you know minion speed are different on both maps and you know just just dynamics of the maps would change and hero balancing would be different you know now that you've gotten rid of so much of the you know jumping abilities uh, or movement abilities like rampage can't jump out of the jungle and onto a lane anymore or jump through the jungle anymore you know like I, I get that but why not have the option of you know like hey I want to play legacy today well why, why'd y'all take that away the, to me you know just balance both balance the map you know make okay the the tower damage needs to be less in legacy and more in monolith because you know the the towers were so huge or you could just simply make the map size the exact same and put the same speeds on you know i i think you know in sure there would be a ton of problems but guys when have we ever had a paragon without issues it, it would be perfectly fine to do that and i understand that's a workload for your team but you know, guys, I mean, just look at my channel. I, I've came out with a video almost every single... I've only missed like three days since I started YouTube. I am truly passionate about making these videos and things like that. And it takes a lot of work. You, you know, I, I'm sitting in front of this computer seven, eight hours a day just making the videos. That's on top of, you know, I got to play and socialize with people and, you know, reply to comments. It takes a lot of work to become any type of successful. And I'm not even saying I'm successful. But I've done a ton of work, and guys, y'all, y'all gotta realize, hey, you know, you you can't, you know, you can't just have an idea and it turn into gold the next second. It takes a lot of work to do it, and having both of those maps would appeal to, you know, you wouldn't have upset one side of the group because a lot of people left with the new monolith changes. They just loved Legacy so much, and you know that that that's big. You wouldn't have, we wouldn't have lost those, and then people could join and go, hey, I've got options between two different maps. What other MOBA only has one map, guys? I, really, I don't understand why we got rid of one of the maps. You know, bring it back. Uh, bring it back, and I guarantee you will see an increase in player base. Okay, next up we have the change from the six card to the three card system. Now, there's way more into this. You know, it, going V42, change so much more than just cards guys and they don't really go into that but for the most part i i, I gotta say I, I really enjoyed the six card system more i felt there was so much more customization within it you know if i'm playing anybody any hero you can pick any hero in the entire game if i'm playing that hero and hey i need more health i feel like i'm taking too much damage boom i put a, i buy a health card you know i buy a I buy a Adamant Edge, and for the upgrade point, I throw in a health card instead of throwing in a power card. That's gone. You know, now if you're a tank and their enemy team has CC, Unbroken Spirit. If you're not running Unbroken Spirit, you're doing it wrong. That's it. This is the card you get. You can't put basic armor, so, you know, Unbroken Spirit isn't as good on steel as it would be if it had basic, but, you know, this is the card you get. And that customization is gone. I, I want to customize my hero. You know, I, I want it. I want my hero to fit my playstyle, and that's that's gone. Now everybody has the same playstyle that uses the same deck. Also, y'all remove the. You know, now anybody can use any affinity. I, I I just I I don't get it. You know, one reason Sparrow. I, I didn't really care for Sparrow is because you had access to those Nitro Boost or, or not Nitro Boost. What were they called? The 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 Mad Stone Gems. Yeah, Mad Stone Gems. You had you had access to that with every other ADC, and so you know that was one turnoff of Sparrow to me. But you know Sparrow, uh, she had insane attack speed, so she didn't need those Mad Stone Gems near as much as some of your other heroes. You know that. The changes within, or the just customization within Paragon is just completely gone. And it, it, it feels bad. It, it doesn't feel good. And, uh, you know, to me, that is the biggest turnoff with V42. And it, it hasn't gone away. It, that that turnoff is still there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't have plans of quitting Paragon. You know, I did start the new arc series. I don't have plans on quitting Paragon. I just feel that 
the six card system was so much better and and it's much more than just the cards you know the game speed the just just everything about it i i felt it was a much better system and I, i'm just not a fan of the three cards okay moving on the next paragraph we have however progress has been slower for two reasons now they give the reasons first being you know long term short term but i i really want to say it's the first reason progress is slower is y'all split your team in half. Hire more people. Like, uh, uh, you know, anytime that happens, if 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 you're a bricklayer and you get another job laying bricks at the house next door, instead of going, hey, I'll do that next month because those are your customers, you hire somebody else and then charge them more. You know, that that's, that's what you do. Hey, do the same with Paragon. Hire more people. Come out with some more skins and, you know, charge an extra dollar for them. That, that, that's how you make that happen. Guys, I, I, I'm a huge supporter of Paragon. I, I've, I've got multiple accounts that I've bought. You know, I, I've got the Founders. I, I bought two different Founders packs. I, I, I bought that $75 or $150 chest thing on two different accounts. Yeah, guys, I've, I've supported y'all. Y'all should, you know, support me. You know, support my addiction within your game. And how to do that? Go hire somebody to help you. Now, as for the first reason you give, you split the team between long-term and short-term. While I can see that, and I can agree with it, you know, that that's... You, you want to get long-term things done as well. Guys, we got to get the short-term fixed. Th this lag issue that's been an absolute nightmare, it's been going on for, you know, two months... That needs to be fixed, guys. That is a short-term problem that's making the game almost unplayable. And then you've also got something like Deathcrawler Crux, who was in the game for, what, three weeks? Wukong's been missing for, you know, uh, several weeks. You've got all these short-term problems. These need to be fixed, guys. And instead of splitting your team, you know, half going to Fortnite, and then splitting your team again where the other half are going to long-term and the half are going to short-term, you need to split it like, okay, half go to Fortnite, hire some more people, and then do a, like, with the remaining 50% per percent, split it like 20-30, or maybe even 35-15, to make sure we get these short-term problems done. Because the reason people aren't continuing to play the game is not because the game it doesn't have long-term vision. It's because it's not fun right now. It needs to be more fun right now. And that is a short-term problem. Okay, moving on. The next paragraph here inside Epic. Guys, I, I don't know why anybody would think you don't love your own game. You know, I, I, I'm with you. I... I, I I love this game too, and I want to see it succeed. That's why I've supported it so much. I, I think y'all have great potential to make an absolute amazing game, and I'm really hoping to see it. But the reason new players are leaving are because they don't know, for one thing, they don't know how to play the game. There's The tutorial is terrible, guys. I've tried my best to make beginner's guides, but I am not y'all. I can't make people play. You know, you can only learn so much by watching somebody. You have to learn by playing. And we need y'all to make a better tutorial. That will help out new players. When they join in, when a new player joins in and they don't know how to play the game and they go into their first PvP match and get slaughtered, they go, ah, I'm just gonna play PvE. And they do that for a week and go, oh, this is boring. So. <laughs> Guys, we need a better tutorial on how to play the game. You know, I, if you go down to low silver and bronze, you know, th those guys play it like Call of Duty. They all five stack in the middle lane and just beat each other up. And, you know, they're not playing a MOBA. And that's because y'all have given them no direction on how to play Paragon. That needs to change. As for the second half of that paragraph, guys, y'all... Y'all's game is great, you know, and and it's going to take a little, you know, MOBAs, uh, MOBAs don't become amazing overnight, but one issue with Paragon is it's boring. You, we've got one map, we've got a handful of, you know, meta heroes that, you know, this is it. Guys, there's what, 
100 or 250 cards, but really only 50 of them are used, come out with about 300 more cards and come out with about eight more heroes tomorrow, and then people will play your game like crazy. But, you know, if, if you don't, ha you know, right now, Paragon is so stagnant, guys. It, 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 it's been the same game y'all have released, you know, there's been four heroes, and until recently, no one played Wraith. You know, when Wraith came out, no one ever played him because he was terrible. You know, Zinx, no one ever played her because she was terrible. She's found some traction lately. You, Durango, no, you know, no one really plays him all that much. And Terra, uh, when was the last, like, you saw her every, you know, every, every draft was dodged when she came out because everybody wanted to play her. And then the second day, no one, she hasn't been played since. You know, like, it, it, you're, the heroes that are coming out, no one wants to play. The card, you know, we've had one new card, really, which, you know, the the bug card. Well, or Dune Winds, was, was that a new card as well? Yeah, so maybe two cards. You know, guys, we need, like, 300 more cards and, like, 20 more heroes. And instead of making one hero really, really good in certain areas... Why not make all the heroes really good in certain areas? You know, like, of course, that's balancing. But, you know, the balancing with the cards and everything. This new card system is terrible. Please go back to old one. Please. Now, before I wrap this video up, I kind of want to talk about a few things. Now, this graph right here is taken from Agora.gg, and this is based off of PvP games played per day. We've been recording it since you know, the beginning of November, and you can see in the beginning of November, you know, we were at 20,000, and in the middle of November, we hit rock bottom at 16,000 games per day, which, you know, it, 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 that's bad, guys, that, that's a 25% drop in, what, 10, uh, 15 days, something like that, and then you see in mid-November, that's when Halloween started, uh, the Shadow's Eve, you know, we saw Spike, and then drop way back down and then same in december y'all gave away free skins but y'all forced people to play 20 games so you see that huge spike but really that's that's not a big spike and that's not new players anything like that you just forced old players to play it more and you know they gave away free skins i i, I really appreciate y'all giving away the skins i think that was a solid move but you can see now that it's over, we're starting to see that drop way down again. And really, you know, it, you see that big spike at the beginning of each week where, you know, people were playing, you know, 15 games in one day and <laughs> it dropped way down. So really, I I think this, the, the December is almost a throwaway because people were playing 20 games a day, which are... Or, 20 games in seven days, which I think, you know, asking people to play three games a day for over seven days, you know, people weren't typically doing that. You know, I do, of course, but the general population of Paragon players weren't doing that. And so you see that huge spike because, you know, you want free skins. Next, we got to talk about y'all's participation within the community. Like, you know, uh, the, the community corners, you know, they're, they they happen just every once in a while now. You know, we, we don't get heroes anymore. The, you know, I really, I honestly feel that y'all have stopped way more than I have. You know, I, I, I really, I, I still try to promote this game. I, I, I love Paragon, guys. I still am out there. You know, telling people, hey, play this way, you know, uh, let, let, you know, if I'll take, you know, newer players, I'll take them into private matches and kind of show them the ropes. I'm doing all of that, and I feel that, you know, y'all's random community corner, maybe we'll get one this week. You know, maybe we'll get an update that fixes some broken things like Death Carl or Grux or, you know, getting Rube Kong back into the game, you know, uh, Maybe we'll just get an update that's just skins, like it probably most likely is. It, you know, it, but we don't get our community corners really on a regular basis anymore. We don't have, you know, uh, Kel Smith, who's a huge Paragon, a huge part of Paragon. He's our community manager. You know, he's the guy we reach out to if we have questions, suggestions. You know, he's our community manager. He doesn't even play Paragon anymore. <laughs> like, you know. 
I think there's I think there's a lot of things within Paragon that, that make it an absolute great game, but really I feel that y'all have stopped, not the other way around. And you know, I'm still out there playing this game every day, but we, we don't see the progress. We don't see change, you know, we don't see things being fixed. We just see, hey, it's the same old game. There's so many issues that need to be fixed that, you know, you can clearly just pick it up and play a, one, a single match and go, hey, there's four problems that are obvious within it. And, you know, we, we don't see those things being fixed. And guys, that, that, that stuff needs to be fixed and really communicate it to us. Go, hey, we're aware there's a thing problem. We're aware the map is unbalanced. We're aware of these things. You know, just just let us know, and that that will at least give us peace of mind. But right now, we're completely in the dark about most of this stuff, and it feels bad, guys. All, all I'm asking for is, hey, just just communicate with me a little bit better, <laughs> and and you know, make sure when you're communicating, the things that you're saying are reflected with what you're doing. Uh, you know, don't tell me one thing and then do something else, which has happened in the past. You know, that, that's that's just what I want. You know, I, I'm, I realize you all have a direction that you want with Paragon. But, guys, according to the list that I, I have from Agora, we have less players now than we ever have. <laughs> you know, the, the, the boost that we got from uh, the Christmas holidays, it didn't even bring it. It barely brought it above the most uh, you know the number the highest number of november you know we're, we're we're losing our fan base our player base and i i honestly gotta say i don't feel that it's me that's losing them it's y'all guys i will continue to do everything i can to ensure that paragon you know stripes i i love this game guys i've built my youtube channel around it sure you know i've ventured out to arc recently but i mean that that that's also sh that should show y'all something you know I, I i'm a huge fan of this game you know the videos i make take you know five six hours a day to make i've done that every single day you know and i i, I haven't quit i've just doubled my workload that's what i need y'all to do I need y'all to double your workload concentrate on the short term because without a short term there's not going to be a long term guys people are leaving we need to bring them back and you can bring them back by fixing the short term. I know I've got a handful of people that are in Discord. You know, I, I've got one guy that straight up said, I'm quitting until they bring back Wukong. Fix Wukong, guys. <laughs> there's one There's one player that we desperately need back in the game. And I'll continue making my videos, you know, helping people improve until y'all can wrap your, you know, until y'all can get a good tutorial fixed to where people can play it. And guys, if you want, let me know. I'll make it for you. I'll tell you how to make it. I think I could do a pretty good one. <laughs> you know, uh, and guys, reach out to me. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll help promote this any way that I can. I, I, I truly love this game and I want it to succeed. But, you know, if y'all are going to split your forces between Fortnite and Paragon, we need more short term work than long term. I think we're at a critical spot right now, and uh, it's huge, guys. Guys, I still, I truly love Paragon, and, you know, if if it sounds like I'm being negative, I'm not. I, I really want Paragon to succeed. I really love this game, and I, I, it's got potential. We just have to work together to make sure that it does. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do everything I can. If you called, you know, if you just emailed me, wrote a message on a comment and told me hey you could do this to improve the player base of paragon guys i would do it because i want this game to succeed and i i think it's an absolute amazing game and someone that you know i i, I spend hours and hours a day working on these videos and I, I i get almost nothing out of it guys you know i'm not getting paid for it you know <laughs> i'm not getting monetary value out of it the joy of seeing this game succeed you know, having this awesome community that I'm a part of, and you know, our Discord, everything like that, that is why I'm doing this. And I, I, I need y'all to scratch my back just as good as I'm scratching yours. And if we can do that, 
Paragon will succeed. But right now, as long as we're splitting our team half between Fortnite, half between Paragon, and then additionally we're splitting it in half, half long term, half short term, guys, we gotta fix the short term before we can ha ever have a successful long term. That's, it's simple as that. The long term is not gonna be there if we can't get the short term fixed a little better. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. And again, if it sounded like I'm mad or ranting or whatever, that, that's not what it is. This is truly constructive criticism. I, like I said, I love this game. I play this game entirely way too much. You know, no one spends five, six hours a day in front of a computer making videos that, for nothing. You know, I, I, I'm not doing, you know, I, I'm not getting paid for it, you know. Like, I, I'm, I'm doing this because I truly enjoy this. So, you know, yeah, I, I, I really want Paragon to succeed. And, you know, I hope y'all do too. Well, again, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, show me some love. Leave me a comment. Think about subscribing. Join our Discord. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.